Hi guys, this is my channel about home brewing and today I want to show you how I brew this lager in under three days. So we're gonna taste the beer, we're gonna have a look at the brew day and uh, we're gonna go through my method and all that. But I also sent two bottles out for blind tasting to two of my fellow British brew tubers. So we're gonna hear their opinions about it. As a bonus, I sent them some Swedish sweets called Jungelvrål, which might need a little bit of an acquired taste. This might be a long one, so grab a homebrew and enjoy. Let's start with some footage from the brew day. I bottled just a few bottles directly from my uh, kegerator tap. I have an old video who shows how to do that. Just with the hose, no fancy stuff. So let's crack this one open. Yeah, there's a hiss there. That's a good sign. We have carbonation. This glass might not hold the whole thing. So guys, they had a brew day and here's the result. It's a clear looking lagerish beer, has a straw, almost urine. <laughs> Smells bready, malty. Lemon, maybe some 
pepper notes there from sass hops okay guys cheers let's dive in quite malty light and refreshing but well, it has a little bite to it from the uh, hops lemony sass peppery really really clean can sense no off flavors let me top this one off not so far ago i did a five day lager with you that's why i wanted to do this a little bit different i sent out two bottles in blind the only thing i told the uh, tasters was that i tried to brew a standard lager please tell me what you think about it be honest i will send them an envelope with a, a note on how i brewed it and with the recipe we can go through the recipe as well if you want guys of course i will put the recipe up on my patreon site for those who want that maybe one of the question is what is a lager to me a lager is a beer that is fermented with uh, bottom fermented yeast the word lager comes from german to store and the lager beer got its name because it's stored very well unlike uh, like for a hoppy ale something like that which uh, loses aroma quite fast now this beer has been sitting for a few weeks in the keg but i did taste it on day three and uh, of course it was cloudy then it's clear now but it tasted fine it had no sulfur no uh, off flavors at all it tasted a little bit different than today but maybe more like a say keller beer than a pilsner now it's more like a pilsner it had a slight different taste but it wasn't yeasty or something like that <sighs> if the beer tastes fine on day three why do I have to store the beer for a couple of weeks to call it a lager? It doesn't make any sense to me. This kind of beer stores very well because they're not about a massive hoppy aroma. Cheers! They're more malty beers than hoppy. So I guess an IPL isn't really a lager because it doesn't store that well as a lager do because of the hop aroma. If it looks like a lager, it tastes like a lager, it's fermented with bottom fermented yeast. I think it's a lager. What you guys think, is this a lager? The key here isn't so much the recipe. Well, this is a low ABV beer. This uh, turned out 3.8%, so that has some to do with it. But the key here isn't so much just the recipe, it's the method I brewed it with. Before we go through the recipe, let's have a look at the blind tasters. First over to Hapless Ginger Brew and then to Brew Boy Calibi. I will put a link to both of their channels down below as well. So, over to you, Graham. Hello, I've got beer mail, strange beer mail, and I have an envelope which says no peeking. You see that? And bag of sweets. All I know about this at the moment is that it is a lager pilsner style beer. Nice and hard, looks clean, clean, clean. Oh, nice hiss, Ooh. lovely hiss. Okay, Pilsner glass. Oh my God, that looks good. <laughs> oh yes. Look at that boys and girls. What a picture. That looks absolutely superb. Beautiful tight head. Bubbles streaming up. Absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous colour. Golden. On the nose. Actually, it smells quite malty. Cheers, Doctor. Thank you very much indeed. Did I not say? This is from the Doctor. Thank you very much. Oh, 
very malty. It's nice. Tiny touch of, touch of sweetness there. Just a little touch of sweetness. Spot on carbonation. Maybe I should have chilled it down a tiny bit more. It has been in the fridge all day, but I should have left it in a little bit longer, I think. It's not quite as cold as I would have liked it. Mm. It's a very clean, nice, Pilsner, lager style beer. Very malty smell. It is a really malty smell. Can't smell any hoppage, minimal hoppage, really. Don't know how to describe it, it's got slight pepperiness to it. Only slight, but it's slight pepper. Like black pepper. Just my imagination. Anyway, so, bloody beautiful. Let's open the letter. No idea what this is all about. I am following my instructions to the letter. Okay. So what have we got? Oh my god. All sorts. Dr. Hans Brewery. Ferment this mother Another sticker for the fridge. Thank you very much. Dear Hapless, thanks for tasting my beer. I know it's not a so exciting brew, but maybe the way I brewed it was instead. I also added the recipe. He did. Here. Original gravity 1.039, final gravity 1.010, 3.8%. Uh, fermented with logger yeast in about 2.5 days. Really? Cold crash started 64 hours after pitch. Fermented under two bar. Fermentation started at 18 degrees. Started ramping temp up after 24 hours. Temp when he started to cold crash was 24 degrees. No gelatin or other findings were used, just protoflop in the boil and of course not filtered. Can you give your honest thoughts about that please? Uh, yeah, I want to make it. Okay, I want to say it was possible, to be honest. It's a lovely lager style beer, Pilsner style beer, whatever you choose to call it. Lovely and clean, crystal clear and no finings. Oh my God, I'm very impressed. Why has it got a peppery taste? Hmm. Don't know. I know it's lovely. Mm, I want another. And now let's get over to uh, Mr. Chalaby. Hello, bit of a different beer review. I got sent a text message from Dr. Hans. He essentially has asked me to review a beer for him. Hello Mr. Calaby, hope you're well. Can I send you a beer for a video review? It's an experiment beer. I can't tell you any more about it in advance uh, other than it's a lager. I try to brew a standard lager, a beer that my father could enjoy. I need you to sample the beer on camera and review the beer, give it me your thoughts. After you get to open an envelope and read about the beer and give me your thoughts about that. I'm sending you some Swedish candy as well. If you want to try them as well on camera, it might be fun for the Swedish viewers. But to be clear, the candy has nothing to do with the beer, so try it or not. More info on the note once I've tried it. So, all very hush-hush, all very secretive. I don't know anything except for the fact that it's a lager and there's a note that I've got to read after I've tried the beer. Those of you who know Dr. Hans, he is always experimenting and I'm slightly concerned about trying this because it could be that it's brewed and fermented with Scandinavian elk droppings or something like that. So I don't know what to try, what to expect, but you know, I've seen a lot of people reviewing his beers and all very complimentary about them. So, um, so what I'm going to do, 
it's in the fridge at the moment I'll go and get the fridge I'll go and get the note we'll come out and we'll try it we're back here's the beer L I'm guessing for lager nice and cold it's literally just come out of the fridge it's been in the fridge pretty much since I received it here's the envelope no peeking and you can see I haven't it's all sealed nothing has been done I know nothing about this you know I know nothing about this when I start reviewing the beer because I know nothing about reviewing um, it's a very candid review because I don't know, I, I can't taste difference in hops without knowing them in the first place. I don't know anything about yeast. I certainly don't know anything about Scandinavian elk dropping yeast. I don't know, maybe that is what's in here or not, I don't know. Standard glass. Um, oh yeah, and these, here we go. This is the, the, the candy that he sent. It's the Scandinavian candy. It's got a picture of a monkey on it dancing on a rock or something it's Dungelvral Jung, Jungelvral yeah original no fakes here so these are original Jung, Dung Jungelvral we'll try them later right so let's crack onto this beer so a lager is all I know okay real good hiss I know you were a bit concerned about the carbonation because I think you bottled this off the keg like there's anything at the bottom there have a smell mm. smells good at the bottom obviously I'm getting mmm that smell nice let's go I thought I'd be getting some yeast or something at the top but it doesn't look like there's any there at all so let's get a pour in Carbonation looks good. Fairly vigorous pour. Right, nothing at the bottom, so it's clean, very, very clean. Okay, so you've got two thirds of a finger of head there. Let's see if it hangs around. Clarity is absolutely superb. Look at that. It's as clear as a bell. That absolutely crystal clear beautiful bubbles if you're worried about the carbonation there doctor I mean um, your bubbles are streaming up there beautiful Let's have a smell it smells to me Slightly bready is the smell that I'm getting off that. Not hoppy, not yeasty, kind of a bready kind of smell. Definitely. So that's my interpretation of the smell, my friend. I'm going in for the taste. Very clean, very crisp. It's got a slight lemony sort of tang, if you like, to it. Um, very subtle. So I've got a kind of bready kind of smell of the aroma. You get that slight, very very slightly with with the uh, with the taste, with the flavour of it. but it's masked by obviously the hops in here because it's beautifully crisp really lovely I'm mean, afraid it's not very warm now it's now getting up to it's nearly 25 past 8 now so fairly late but still fairly warm and it's something you can quaff that it doesn't taste very strong alcohol wise I'm wondering if the breadiness, breadiness is coming possibly from the yeast that he's used. It 
but it's definitely that sort of very slight tartness coming from the hops I'm assuming really refreshing a lemony kind of taste to me it's a really good beer the citrusy in the hops not unpleasant at all very nice it's not sort of like I, I, I don't drink sours I don't really like sour beers certainly not that this is a lager but it's got a very nice sort of citrusy to me lemony taste to it very very satisfying carbonation is great the head is still there a little bit you can see quick swirl comes back a little bit not amazingly but you know there's still bubbles streaming up there clarity is absolutely outstanding you know you're looking at you know perfection on the clarity really really is really is amazing and I know that's a difficult thing to do so before reading the booklet which I'll leave now definite two thumbs up for that beer doctor very very nice very good and thank you for sending it to me right now let's open this up and see that I've been drinking your urine or something thanks for tasting the beer I know it's it's not so such an exciting brew that was good it was good but maybe the way it was brewed was instead uh, I also add the recipe so it's given me the recipe here Original gravity 10.39, final gravity 10.10, so 3.8%. Like I said, it wasn't particularly strong. It's not a strong beer. It's fermented lager yeast in about two and a half days. Wow. So obviously lagering usually takes a very long time to do. Cold press started 64 hours after pitch. Fermented under two bar. Fermented started at 18 C. Started ramping up after 24 hours. Temp when started cold crash of 24 C. No gelatin or any other findings were used. Just a protoflock in the boil, and of course not filtered. So I've already commented on the clarity of that beer. It is absolutely perfectly clear. clear. Beautifully clear. So essentially, the doctor's uh, looking at a new, well, his method of doing a, a quick lagering. Absolute success. That is crystal clear. A beautiful lager. Nice. Refreshing, crisp taste. Just great. Very, very good. Thank you so much, Hapless Ginger Brew and Brew Bro Calibi. Okay, so there you have the blind tasters. Don't forget to stay to the end because they have the Swedish sweet Jungevrål left to try. So let's go through the recipe, guys. And as I said, I will put this up for my patrons who like that on my Patreon page. This brew started the night before. I boiled all the water I would need and let it cool down and didn't touch the vessels. What I wanted to do was to, to lose some of uh, yeah, the natural salts and calcium and all of that. I have quite hard water as it comes from my own well. Some of the minerals and so will collect on the bottom and on the top of the water when cooled down. So don't move your vessels. Just pull off in between through, through the tap. Uh, then you will leave the drags behind both on the bottom and on the top. So you're taking the middle part of the water. So account in for that. Boil more water than you need because you will leave some behind. That was the first step I used. And this is for a 23 liter recipe. I used 2.2 kilos of Pilsner. That's 59%. 750 grams of Munich malt. That's like 20%. 500 grams of wheat malt. That's 13.4% and I used 120 grams of acid malt but that depends on your water so you have to calculate your uh, pH yourself. I bittered with uh, 10 grams of uh, magnum at 60 minutes this was a 60 minute boil 20 grams of sas for 20 minutes 30 grams of sas for 10 minutes and 
50 grams of sass for two minutes. Two minutes addition is just to move it a little bit because I used the hop spider and I want the movement in there. The alpha acid of the magnum was 11.9 and the alpha acid of uh, the sass was 3%. This was actually fermented on an old yeast cake. It was a mix between mangrove jacks bohemian lager and saff lager W34. So a lot of yeast, a low ABV beer and the main thing, I fermented it hot under pressure. I fermented it under two bars. I put two bars of pressure straight away. I started at 18 C. On the next day, after 24 hours, I directly put on the heat, pushed it up to 24 C. After two and a half days, it was all fermented out. So I filled my fridge with frozen pet bottles and ice clamps and all that and, and turn on the cooling. And I tried it on day three, as I said, when it was cooled down. It was already carbonated because of the fermentation process. So I tried it straight out of the fermentosaurus on day three. But I had just put up the five day log video. So I didn't want to make just the same video. So I thought I would let it sit for a week, see what happened so I could discuss that. And also I wanted to send some out. So what happened to the beer, it was that it got uh, clear, but uh, it cleaned itself up maybe a little bit, but it was a very good tasting beer on day three. So let's see what the British YouTubers think of the Swedish sweet jungelvrål. And he sent me some sweets, don't know what these are all about. I don't know what it has to do with it. Let's try these sweets. What the holy <laughs> for them? <coughs> You're having a laugh. <coughs> I'm sorry. That's disgusting. There is no way on God's earth I'm eating that. Oh, let's try again. Oh. Oh. No, 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 dog. Eat that. Oh my God. Johnny, what's that? What is that? That's like, it's just like licking salt. Disgusting. Mate. Keep the fucking sweets. It's beer, fantastic. Bing bong, over and out. Let's try these. So the sweets, candy. They're revolting. They are absolutely disgusting. Dung gelled roll. Yeah. Mmm. Really nasty. So thanks for them. Please comment down below if it tastes like lager and it's brewed with lager yeast. Is it a lager or not? A big thanks to Graham, aka Hapless Ginger Brew, and Matthew, Mr. Brew Boy Calabi, for trying out the beer. So, guys, I guess that's it for this time. Thank you so much for watching. If you are new to this channel, please consider becoming a subscriber. If you want even more content, why don't you check out my Patreon page and, of course, all of my other videos? So, cheers, guys, and thanks again for watching. Doktorns out.